Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we are looking at uh, the next app on the Portapec H4M or the H2 uh, running Mayhem. I am currently running the uh, nightly of 250407. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when this was added, but we have a new app down here. And this is, of course, going to be fun with uh, trying to get done with the uh, RX portion of all this, but. They keep adding apps, which is always more fun, right? So let's check out, uh, it's called a WeFax, um, also known as WeatherFax. And what it is, it is a uh, kind of grayscale SSTV um, version that was developed in the, uh, I want to say it was the 1950s, uh, 1930s, 1930s to 1950s, running slow scan television pretty much is what it is. SSTV is more difficult for the port pack to kind of decode those frequencies coming in because of all the colorations and just the more uh, more data. So with WeFax though, it is grayscale. Diving into it, we're just gonna go to WeFax here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my volume down. Off the bat up here, we see that we have our frequency and then we have our amp. We have, of course, our LNA and then our VGA and then our volume. And then right here, this LPM, that is lines per minute. Now, the standard uh, kind of lines per minute is 120. Think of it like a, print, a printer head printing lines on a page. That is what is currently being uh, kind of shown here on your screen is that is lines per minute of what it's printing for what is for what it is receiving. Uh, over here we have IOC, which stands for Index of Cooperation. Uh, standard for the most part is going to be in that 576 range. There's only two options, I believe, 576 and 220. And you're going to see that 576 is the best that we have. And then, of course, the frequency that uh, we fax or weather fax is being transmitted on is HF. So receiving signals is going to be dependent upon that time of day for propagation. So you might want to look into that if you don't know um, the best time to receive some signals. Uh, look into that. And uh, the timing is going to be in UTC time. So universal time code. Um, anyways, I keep UTC time uh, always on my watch because instances like this and then of course being a radio nerd but uh, this is a pretty simple and straightforward little app so you'll see on the overlay uh, here of what it looks like to be receiving those signals and what it looks like to decode and what you're looking for is a chart um, very similar to a topographical map if you are familiar with that um, that is kind of how weather charts and wind charts are also kind of overlaid. So you'll see a lot of bends and lines. Um, that is going to be what you're looking to receive. Depending on time of day and your location and then your antenna uh, will tell you what exact signals you can receive and the, uh, the quality of those signals. But yeah, that's really it for uh, the WeFax or weather, weather Facts app. Uh, again, not a lot to it, but it is a pretty cool and fun little app that they implemented. And uh, I, li I like it. I had to use my Discord antenna to receive these signals because the, my W100RX, where I'm at, uh, was not strong enough to pick up those signals. And uh, the Discord, obviously, is a great antenna to receive a wide variety and wide band of signals. Uh, since it is HF, I believe an NFIT halfway would be great or any HF uh, antenna tuned to those frequencies. And I will also put over here a chart and the timing uh, from the WeatherFax uh, website um, of what they transmit on. So that'll help you kind of try to uh, hopefully receive some of these signals. I want to thank two individuals that kind of helped me get this going. Uh, I reached out to them on my Discord to kind of help uh, with some of the video. Unfortunately, they were not able to really uh, give me a lot because they were having a, a hard time receiving these signals as well. Uh, that would be Mr. Anubis and Maker Mindset. So thank you both for your time and for assisting me on this. Um, uh, since your location in the U.S. was kind of the optimal place for me to reach out to you guys. So uh, again, thank you for your time and trying to help me out. Yeah, if you have any questions about the WeatherFax app, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. And obviously check out the wiki uh, from the documentation page on the Portapac Mayhem GitHub. That is always a great place to start understanding anything Portapac H4M or H2 related. And uh, of course, check out the latest nightlies. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, not a lot to it, like I said. Super simple app, but super really informative of what you can receive. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, 
I am here to help. And uh, what else? Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.